my sister. Even I'm blind, I feel the pains too. It is true I might not have known or seen our parents. But this is the thought of being an orphan. You taught me. You taught me, sister. Why don't you tell me? If you're kind, what would you expect me to do? At least you have me behind you, sister. Stop crying. Let your text all as in each other. Mom, do you? Why do you ask God why? God why? Hey God, no brother, no father, God why? God why is all this in a place? Good afternoon, Anita. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh, hey, Anita, how far have you gone? Are they ready? Um, sorry, ma, I haven't finished. Uh, but but I'll try. But what, Anita? You told me to come today. Yes, I told you to come today, but please try and exercise some patience. Hmm? I don't I'll like this type of thing, no. Eh? You will tell somebody to come and collect her clothes. Yet you will end up disappointing that person. Eh? If I had done that, you will finish it on time. I'll give like, it to someone else. Eh? Mama and Kitty, why are you talking to me like this? Have I disappointed you before? I don't know. All I want is for you to finish my clothes before tomorrow. Period. Anita. Anita. Tanya. It's alright, it's just one of my customers that wants me to finish her clothes on time. It's okay. Is, is that why she was shouting on you? Daniel, she was only expressing herself, eh? It's alright, I'll try and finish it by tomorrow. I said, I am not I'm not annoyed, why? Please, I don't want you to be annoyed. It's okay, I'm not annoyed. Just be happy in anything you are doing. I'm not annoyed, eh? Right. Ah, I left something on the fire. Hey. What happened? Sister, I'm so sorry. Oh. I, I, I felt like walking around and trying myself. But why? Sorry. Oh. Are you the sister? Yes, he's my younger brother. Please don't let him walk all alone by himself. Eh? Okay. Please. Uh, sister, please help me and thank this good Samaritan. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, it's okay. There is no problem. And uh, please take care of him. Eh? <laughs> Around. I hope there's no problem. No, no there's no problem. Okay. Okay. She's working at the back end. Sit down. Thank you. Ada! Ada! Yes, Mama. Come on. Hey, Anita. Hey, hey. Welcome. Hey. Anita, is that it? You my dress. Yes, I've finished. Hey. Thank you so much, though. Ah. I trust you. Oh, this is beautiful, oh, Anita. <laughs> Anita, the dressmaker. <laughs> Mama, just look at this dress. Eh? She is fine. <laughs> hey, yeah. Anita. 
They are doing a wonderful job. Thank you, Mama. You have to make more of this for me. I'm a teacher now. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Well done. I don't have enough money to pay. It's all right. It's all right. You can always pay me anytime. Hey, Anita, thank you so much. It's okay. It's just that I'll be going. Even my brother is alone in the house. Okay. Mama, I'll be going. My dad, take care of yourself. All right. And greet your brother for you. Okay, Mama. Hey, Mama, let me see her. Okay. Anita. What happened now? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, good day. So, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is your small brother doing? Oh, he's fine. He's fine now. He's at home. In fact, that's why I'm rushing back. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Have you both met before? <laughs> you sound so familiar with each other. <laughs> uh, he helped my brother when he fell the other day. Hey, yeah, uh, poor boy. Ah, where was he going to now? Yeah? It's okay. I, I, I will see you later, okay? okay? If you get home, say me hi to him. Okay, okay. Is there anything now? Um, there should be now. Mama is So this is your brother. Mm. I don't think I've seen him in this village before. Ah, mm, you've not seen him, Chuchu. He just came back from Patakot now, where he studied arts. You know he's an arts graduate now. Mm. And presently, he organizes a, one small art section like that for all these young girls and young boys in the village. <laughs> for those people that are interested in that, not like people like me. That's interesting. Uh, but um, why did he come back to the village? I don't know. He just told us that he's bored with a potacot life or something. <laughs> so please, my brother's more like <laughs> Please tell her that I went to see her. Oh? Okay. Please, I won't be long. Hey, Ada. Hey? Um, that's your friend, Anita. She seems a nice person now. Why do you say that? Nothing, nothing. It's just that um, each time I see her, I feel like that. That's all. <laughs> but you've only seen her once or twice now. Does it matter how many times I've seen her? <laughs> hey, God, oh, brother. It's as if you're now falling for this, my friend. Do. <laughs> just take it easy. Oh. You know, I don't know you with girls. No, so it's not like that. It's just that uh, that your friend, her behavior and everything, she seems um, different, you know, from other girls. But please, I want you to help me uh, just find out from her, you know her character and um, if she really has um, a serious relationship I mean <laughs> boyfriend what's funny now <laughs> hey oh my god mr lover boy don't worry i'll just do that when i come back i'll give you the gist don't worry uh, but please don't let her know that i asked such a question no okay okay come back quick oh no problem To the day you fell. Che, yeah. You're welcome to our house. Oh, thank you. Hey, please, you can come and sit down oh, here. Oh, no, 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 don't bother yourself. Don't Let me get you a seat. No, don't sorry. bother yourself. I'll manage <laughs> I actually came to find out how you people are doing. Oh, we're fine. Hey, Manita. This, your brother, has um, a fascinating voice. I'm 
telling you. <laughs> you mean Daniel? I'm telling you, his voice is enchanting. <laughs> no, he stopped me on my way to this place. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Willie. You know, when the devil takes a thing from a man, God gives that man something greater than what the devil took. I perfectly agree with you. Thank you. Uh, sister, <laughs> is there any food remaining in the house? Of course there is. Please food. give some to Brother Willie to eat. Uh, no, no, get no, 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 don't bother yourself. Look, Daniel, don't bother yourself. See, the best thing you do for me now is mm -hmm. if you could just um, give me a little bit of that your wonderful voice. <laughs> I think um, I would like it. I would do that. I think it's enough entertainment. If that would make you happy. Okay, Daniel. Stop laughing at me. Oh, no, no, come no, on. No. <clears throat> he brought me out of my declare. He put my foot on the rock to stay. He put a song. A new song in my mouth, I sing a new song, hallelujah. He brought me out of me, declare. He put my foot on the rock to stay. He put a song, a new song in my mouth, I sing a new song, hallelujah. On a puta wom na la berebe On a kwa lam kam guzo ne lo kem kume wo O tinye wom abuta nanom ta abu o tito hallelujah O ye wem an a puta wom na la nde wura wu On a kwa lam kam guzo ne be di elu I have told you to stop calling me Olga Willy. My name is Willy K. Okay? Okay. So how are you? I'm fine, Willy. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> is that that so? uh, No. Uh, she went out with my mom. I'm the only one at home. Okay. Is there any any problem? No, it's just that um, I said I should come and see her to see if she can pay me for the clothes I made for her. But it's all right, since she's not at home. Wait, wait. You mean Ada hasn't paid you that money? Ha, Ada. Hey, she's always placing herself as if she's one providing money for herself. Please, please, please. Don't be annoyed with her. You know, she's a girl and she needs money. It's just that we don't have anything at home. And my customers are still owing me. How much is the money? No, no problem, no problem. How much is she owing you? Okay. Just 400. 400 now.
Daniel, um, he has a beautiful voice and uh, he's going to go places with his voice. You too. You're a wonderful artist. Those things you designed for me will help me make my customers clothes. Well, it's an act of love. Oh, Willie. I don't know what I would have done without you. What else can I say? You can't say that again. I mean, what else can I do for my love? I love you so much. And I love you too. Someday, under the moonlight, I am going to paint a picture of you on my board. And I'm sure that same picture is already painted in your heart. And in my soul. <laughs> Let me run and okay? Okay. Do I see you? Uh, no, just you have to go back and uh, you know your brother. Ada, hmm. when is your registration at the university beginning? Um, they said in three weeks' time. Three weeks' time. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. uh, you've gathered all the necessary information concerning the registration. Look, I don't have a single cupboard to pay for late registration. You know my kind of job. You know, it's not fetching me big money. Mama, I have all the necessary information. Mommy! Good evening, how brother. Uh, hey, how are you? Really? Mommy. You do have a late class. Uh, not exactly. I just uh, stopped by to see a friend. Willie, you are not known for late night keeping. What is happening? Why are you starting it now? Ah, Mama. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, Mama. Oh, he didn't tell you he has found a bed that uh, keeps him awake all night. Will you shut up there? Bed? What do you mean by that? Hmm. You won't mind your business. Eh? I friend, get up there and go and get me my food. Mm -hmm. Gossip. Yes, sir. But I thought she must have fed you. Oh, she did not. <laughs> hey! Where's the girl? <coughs> Mommy, which girl? You call me baby. You think I don't understand? <laughs> the girl your sister was talking about. Who okay. is she? Her name is Anita, a dad's friend. Huh? Anita? That girl is too loca. She's on school. Uh, mommy, please, mommy, please. Don't start preaching about class and orientation here. She's just only my friend. That's all. And I like her. Um, let me have a shower. Uh, brother, are you not going to eat again? Uh, let me just shower. Yeah. I hope it's hot though. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you didn't know before? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
for me on his board. I picked it and applied it. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, oh. This is a love, don't they go far? Eh? Ada, Ada, listen, let me tell you. In fact, I have never come across any angel like Willie. In fact, he's simply wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> is it funny? <laughs> hey, my God, though. What's come, oh, eh, Anita? <clears throat> Have you people, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, please, I don't know what you mean. Why, how can you ask me that question? Hey. Hey, let me tell you, he's not like that. He's oh, not like that. He's serious minded. Uh, hey, we know. Uh, so you're not pretending. You want to side him, Abby? He's not like is that. Is he not my brother that I know? Is it his Okay, okay, okay now, okay. Hey, Anita. <laughs> ah, Uncle Emeka. Well, how are you? Fine, fine, fine. How is Daniel? Um, he's inside. Mm. He's inside. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Daniel! Anyway, I'm this one is yeah. there for both of you. If you like siding, that one is your business. <laughs> um, I just came to tell you that um, I'll be leaving for the invest in a couple of weeks' time, you know. So that I'll go and do my registrations and then start lectures. Ada, huh? I'm happy for you. I wish my parents were still alive. I would have had the same opportunity like you. But. It's all right. It's okay. Eh? Don't let that one start bothering you now. All right? It's okay. Just leave that one. <laughs> Come, let me tell you now. Let me tell you the latest. You know, every time you just be here, sewing what I don't know. You know that man that <laughs> says... What is it? Do you have code? Mm. Hey, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know the latest gist? Nothing, nothing. Sister Nita! What is it? Don't let her die for me. She hey, Anita! Oh God. Sister Nita! Please don't let her die. She will die. Get hey. away from you. Yes, it occurs to us once in every six months. Hey! But there's no cause for any alarm. Jesus Christ! Eh? She'll be alright. She won't die! She won't die! What is the matter with you? I don't understand you anymore in this house. You have changed. You are like a stranger. You hardly eat. 
Even when you eat, you throw up. Are you pregnant or something? What is happening? Are you? Mama, I'm not pregnant. Hey, then what is the matter with you? Mama, what is it now? Eh? I told you there's nothing wrong with me now. What, what is it now? Uh, I told you that one. Are you still bothering yourself eh, with that? Dad? Leave her. If she wants to be useless, let her be. With no just cause. Mom, what else do you expect Ada to tell you? She has to cover up for her mistakes. Ada, tell us. Are you pregnant? So that we'll know what to do. Listen it. She's all repentant. Look at this, she has worked out on us. Ha! What am I going to do? Mommy, don't bother her. Come, let me tell you, sir. Let me tell you something, Janet. Eh? When you touch her, she will say she's a big girl, she can handle her, her problems. Okay, let her handle this. Mom, I want to tell you something. There is something I want to Tips came into our house and stole away my sewing machine and all the money I had in the house. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm going to save us some money and buy you a new sewing machine, okay? Okay. Huh? Sorry. Okay, meanwhile. Yeah, take this. Huh? Use it to take care of yourself and Daniel for the meantime. Thank you so much, really. You've been so kind to us. And what of Daniel? He's inside the house taking his siesta. And what about Ada? She's no longer coming as she used to. And each time I come to your house, you see that she's never at home, or it seems. <laughs> Don't mind Ada. Don't mind Ada. I don't know what has come over her. Ada has suddenly turned against everybody in the house. How? She no longer talks to anyone. She keeps to herself. She keeps quiet to herself and see if um, she's angry with everybody. I am not even sure she eats at home these days. She doesn't eat at home. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she had an encounter with spirits on her way back from your house because this thing started this sudden behavior started the same day she told my mom she was coming to your house to inform me about her admission to the university. of me. <laughs> Maybe he thinks he is the only and best artist in the department. And because of my love for art, he thinks he can get me Amanda down. Uh -huh. Hey, anyway, Amanda is you that cost it. So How? I don't even put smiles in your people's uh, problems. It's you that cost it. How? It's you. Yes. But let's just leave that one. These artworks are nothing compared to my elder brother's own. Does he want to compete with my brother? Ah, he can't try it. Ah, da. You've been telling me all the time about this, your brother. Mm. Is he that fantastic? Hey! You're talking of fantastic. He is more than fantastic. Hmm. 
It's just that the only thing he needs is just little exposures that would, you know, shoot him to limelight, just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was even the best in his uh, school days. Are you serious? But what kind of exposure does he need? Why do they talk like this now, eh? They're just talking as if you don't understand what's up again, eh? Can't do it. Anyway, he just needs a uh, little money, you know, that will help him showcase his talent in all these uh, national exhibitions they always do. Yeah. Mm. The world has not seen best work of art yet, though. I'm telling you. Let's just go, Sha. It's so interesting, my dear. Mm. Anyway, Amanda, let's... Maybe what will happen is uh, you follow me to my house hey, in the next hall so, uh, so that you see with your own eyes. No problem. You want to compete? Uh -huh. My brother. I beg, right? Let's see. the best. Area. I am fine with my brother. Thank you, Lord. Enjoy, enjoy now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Jesus, now you've your God. Yes, sir. Jesus, now you've your God. Every other God, now so, so, yeah, yeah. Every other God, now so, so, are you. Hallelujah. Jesus, now you've your God. Amen, ma. Jesus, now you've your God. Every other God, now so, so, yeah, yeah. My brother. Every other God, now so, so, yeah, yeah. Almighty Jehovah, now you've your God. Hey, Jesus, now you be my help. Oh. Every other God. Not so so yeah yeah. yeah yeah every other yeah. god not so so yeah yeah, yeah. hallelujah jesus now you be your god now you be my god oh. jesus now you be your god every other god not so so yeah yeah every other god not so so juju hallelujah jesus now you be your god now you be my Jesus, now you be your God. Every other God, not so so yeah yeah. Every other God, not so so yeah yeah. Onye wem, Jesus, now you be your God. Yes, sir. Can you go? Can you go? Jesus, now you be my help. Every other God, not so so yeah yeah. Every other God. Na so so juju, hallelujah. Jesus, na you be your God. Oh, mama. Jesus, na you be your God. Every other God, na so so yeah yeah. Every other God, na so so yeah yeah. In the mount of August, you lifted me so high. In the mount of September, mm -hmm. you blessed me abundantly. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Omega, you are good to me. Hallelujah. From the month of January, oh, you are good to me. All of that year, Omega, you are good to me. Come on. Oh, from the month oh, of January, oh, 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 you are good to me. Jesus. All of that year, Omega, you are good to me. Hallelujah. From the month of January, oh, you are good to me. All of that year, Omega, you are good to me. Jesus, from the month of January, oh, you are good to me. All of that year, yes, Omega, so. you are good to me. Hallelujah. From the month of January, oh, my, my, you are good to you me. You are so good. All of that year, All of that year you, are you are so good to me. <laughs> Look at your stick. 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 I can't see. I can't see. No, God, I can't see. I can't see. No way. Look at your stick. 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 I got my dick, I know. Hey! Oh, I got you, guys. Your 
Whoever told you that. Hmm? But that boy you call a beggar, he's just a poor blind boy that needs help. Hey, hey. So automatically, you are now their mentor, isn't it? You now take the boy around your community, asking the boy to sing and beg for money. You! Mom, stop, please. If I, I don't. I don't like what you're talking about. They know it! They know it if you don't be doing it. If you don't be taking them around your own public places. Responsibilities are you talking about? What you want to know that you keep your mouth shut and listen to me? Open your brain and let you stick into your skull. I'm asking you to make that girl that's the problem in this house. You don't call me old man that's used to. You give like nights. What do you think I'm doing? Shut your mouth. When I'm talking, don't talk. I am your mother, I tell you what to do. So you listen. Your sister is in school. What have you contributed? What? To education. Shut up, I'm still talking. Show down the resources, Lord. You think so? No. You can't be in this house. Nobody to talk to. I to just go away. You are a joker. Mom, please, it's enough. Shut up. It is not enough. We need money in this house to bring money. We need money. You bring money. Okay, mom. You've spoken your mind, and I've heard it. Next thing that you will tell me that I take all the money I make from my art classes to give Anita her brother. Exactly. What do you think I'm telling? Why do you think I'm shouting? I'd rather we don't talk about this again, please excuse me. I want to discuss it, why do you think I want to discuss it? Where do you think I'm going? You don't want to talk to me, mother. I'll tell you what to do. Mom, I don't know anywhere like I would go to, please. Will it? Will it? in school. Hey. So why has he stopped catching for the apps? So all the money has been making, who has he been giving it to? I'm asking you. Who? Mama, will you please? I've never asked Willie really never to contribute to his family. Please. Hey. Anita! Hey! Anita! Anita, how many times did I call you? Three times. I have spoken loud and clear. Stay away from my son. I have spoken. But God in heaven, 
Almighty God knows that we are not beggars. And we can never depend on anybody's hope or their comfort. Have your test is that. It's alright. Relax your mind. At least brother willing this well for us, is that? Why is she talking to me like this? What have I done wrong? Yes, I know. I know you've not done anything wrong to her. Just wipe your tears for me. If you're crying, what will you expect me to do? Wipe your tears, sister. Just believe in yourself. And in the love you both have in each other. I believe it's stronger than any of Zaku's sister. It's so strong that mankind is there. God, why? God, why is all these things happening to us? And then why are we receiving all this? Lord, why? Jesus, why? Oh, Anadum, even a mood Oh, <laughs> Then <laughs> Ibo Why did you go to Alita's house to harass her? <laughs> Willie? Because you refuse to see reasons with me. I don't have the right to question me. Mom, please, I am begging you in the name of God. Leave them alone, please. Are you asking me? Or telling me or commanding me? Or begging me? Which one? Mom, I am begging you, please. Alive. He would have understood my reasons. He would have understood my feelings, Mom. What stupid feelings? What do you know about feelings? You're still a little boy. As long as you are still under my roof, you listen to me. I am not old enough to know my left from my right. Is that it? Mom, please, no matter whatever the case may be, please, I beg you, leave Anita alone. I love her. That is that. Please. <laughs> oh, Willie. We shall see. Why does Willie's mother suddenly hate me? 
God knows I never influenced or told William not to do anything for his family. I cannot understand it. Even at that, before she went to school, has been avoiding me. And she's the only friend I have. Is it because I'm epileptic? But come to think of it, what if Willie finds out? Or does he know already? I don't think so. Because if he did, he would have mentioned it. Should I tell him myself? What if he discontinues this relationship? Oh God, I don't want to lose Willie. He means everything to me. Please God, help me. Please. my friend Amanda. Amanda, this is my big brother, Willie. <laughs> nice to meet you. Your sister has been telling me a lot about you. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, brother, what of mom now? Oh, mommy, she has um, gone to school. Oh, so mommy is not even around. <laughs> Please, I have to run along, okay? okay. My students will be waiting for me. Hmm? I'll right. see you guys when I come back. Okay, okay. okay. Bye. Hey, yeah. Come back, Elio. Please. Okay, I will. Okay, now. Yeah, bye-bye. Uh, you did tell me your brother was just cute and handsome. Yeah. Hey, hey God have mercy on us. Eh? Amanda, just better keep your thoughts to yourself before you start having hot pants from my brother. Oh, for you. Hey, hey. It's only my brother you've seen. Eh? eh? <laughs> Let's go in, Joe. Enter. <laughs> Karimem, oh, ye Brother Willie, are you going? Uh, yes, I have to run along. Time is against me. I have to catch an appointment before I miss the person. Alright, does that matter to me? I don't know when it is late and when it is not. Nani, bye bye. Yes. Oh, digging in a boogeyman. Is it not digging on a boogeyman? Oh, digging in a boogeyman. Chineke, oh, digging in a boogeyman. Come to Quasi Gobi, come where room when you get, or digging in a boogeyman. Um, sweetheart. Um, I'll do something about what you told me, okay? I don't want you to give me anything. Why? You see, I don't want your mom to start disturbing that I don't allow his son to... Come on, ah, what is it? Uh, you see, the woman is only asking for too much. <laughs> After all, how much do I even make from the lessons that he wants to heap every problem on my head? But really, whatever little amount you make, you're supposed to take your family's responsibilities first. You know you are like the father now. You are beginning to sound like my mother. Huh? Anyway, I'll do something about it anyway. Hmm? Um, see that. You see, each day that passes, I fall neck deep into you. 
okay? I'm so much close to you. I'm so much in love with you. I mean, I love you so much. I love you too. Don't forget that someone loves you. I want. <laughs> Um, it's raining, so that will meet up the appointment, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Don't go out. <laughs> eh? Okay. okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. How was your journey? Mama, very fine, no. <laughs> very fine, no. Not for all those uh, dust and everything, you know. <laughs> hey, Mama. Even for this, my friend uh, Amanda, I don't know what my feet would have been in school. She helps me out with money anytime I'm broke. But how does she manage? She's a student. Huh. Mama, her father is thinking the rich. That girl is from the rich family. If you see the father's houses, eh? I'm not even talking about the cars they usually used to bring her to school. Hmm, something else. Hmm. Oh, I see. Hey, thank you, God. Hmm. Hey, God just sent that to you. I'm telling you. Then she must be a fantastic girl. Ah, very nice girl. This girl is okay. I have not been taking your yes, ma. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. yeah. um, anyway, I mean, let me just go and take my home back. You need to. I'm telling you. Please get my hand back. Uh -huh. I don't want about the collections you told me about. Okay. See, don't let it table. I brought them out for you. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. oh. oh, just a wonderful atom. My son made them all look really? And I can see that too. Oh, yeah, Mommy, how are you? Mm. Mommy, what's the meaning of all this? Those are my collections. Who brought them out from my room? Why didn't you ask your sister? Oh, sorry, baby. I asked for it. Actually, I am an arts fanatic. Though it's not what I'm reading in school. And my daddy too is a lover of art. He loves investing in a very good work like this. Um, as for what I can see here so far, I think it's up to standard. Oh, really? Um, thank you very much. I think my daddy will love your works. Well, what can I say? Um, Willie, if you don't mind, I would like to take some of these down to the city to show my dad. Or what do you say? Well, I'd rather I go with you to explain um, better to him, you know, and to get some idea. Maybe you will have one or two ideas, hence he's a lover of art. Okay. Fine. You've not seen these ones, my dear. Ah, mama. The lovely I mean, ones. Fine. They haven't finished. It's just catching them. Taking any drugs? There's no money to buy some drugs, so I gave him local help. But it's not helping matters. <laughs> Tanya, what is it? Tanya, don't do this thing to me, Daniel. Don't do this thing to me. Remember, he's a sister. Remember, he's a sister. Tanya, don't do this thing to me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not too happy to. I won't die. Let me wash and buy some clothes, okay? Then just, just hold on, eh?
You know, you really helped us a lot in this house. I will do anything for my love, sweetheart. Mm? Don't bother yourself. Uh, let me be running along. Huh? I have to do certain things before it's late. All right, let me see you. Oh, okay. Look, I have told you several times. Anytime you have any problem like this, just come and tell me. Okay? Mm? Right. Next time, I will quarrel with you. <laughs> okay, come on, don't worry yourself. So tell me, what was it you were excited about? Oh, baby. <laughs> if I tell you, you won't believe it. You won't believe it, I'm telling you. <laughs> now tell me, what is it? Okay. I just got a proposal to go to the city to exhibit uh, some of my artworks to one very rich man who is ready to put that money for any good artwork. So that means you are living for the city, eh? Oh, sweetheart. Listen, it's not something that you should be worried about. And after all, I'm not going to be there for long. Honey, I mean, listen, this could be the big breakthrough we've been all be praying for. Eh? And if it pulls through, we are made. I can afford to buy you a bigger sewing machine. And better still, um, open up a big boutique here in the village for I you. I know, I know. It's just that... I can't bear the thought of you being away. Oh, come on, don't worry, my lord. I'm doing this for us, okay? I'll miss you terribly. But I'll miss you too. Mm -hmm. You should be happy for each other. <laughs> Alright, so that let me run along so that I can take care. Come on. <laughs> Not too heavy, Mama. Amanda. Yes, Mama. I'm leaving him in your care. No problem. No problem. Please mama. take care of him. No problem. Very well. No problem, Mama. I will. Thank Baby you. girl, okay. I'll see you in school. Okay. okay, no problem. But please don't forget to get those things. Uh, I will now. I will. Mama, I'll see you back. Hey. Uh, mama, mama, I'm going to miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> Uh, uh, make sure you do houseworks. Uh-uh. Right? Mama, please don't. Don't do it. And make sure you read your books. <laughs> please, so don't go too fast on the road, though. Yeah, bye-bye. Easy. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Please. Mama, I'm I have some uh, rolled into the back, or you don't come back. They are not yet framed, sir. Let me bring them. Sir. It's okay, it's okay. You can do these ones are only framed. Okay. Okay. See, uh, young man, I must say, I am impressed with your work. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You see, I'm a lover of arts, and any good work trips me into investing in it. I must confess, 
yours is a masterpiece. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank I'm elated, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, sir. Darling. Yes, sir. Could you please get me a bottle of wine and uh, glasses? Okay, Dad. While I discuss business with our visitor. You said your name is what? Uh, my name is uh, William Okoye, sir. William Okoye. One second, you're welcome. Thank you. to know who I am. Just call your sister for me. Sister Anita! Anita! Yes? Please come and know he's looking for you. Oh, Uncle Enable. You're welcome. Why oh, don't you people come and sit there? You can see it's raining. Hey, there is no time for that. There is no time for that! Listen, these men are my surveyors. I have decided to erect a perfecting structure on this land. You understand? And for your information, work will start in two weeks' time. So you and your brother should pack your things to my mother's place. Because very soon, the caterpillars and the bulldozers will arrive the village. What do you think is too sudden? Besides... Too sudden to do what? Too sudden to do what, eh? That I want to build on my father's land? Eh? Listen. You and your brother should pack your things to my mother's place. Else, you have yourself to blame. A gentleman, this is the site. I want work to commence immediately. No problem. Why do you do this to us? Why? Remember you are father's younger brother. Why do you want to do hey, this to hey, us? Hey, young girl. That I'm your father's brother is not the issue. The bottom line is that I have a project at hand. OK? And nobody, I repeat, nobody has the right to question it, OK? It is true I cannot see you. But I believe you have a heart. Please don't do this thing to us. Please, if not for my sake, but for the sake of my sister, please don't drive us away. Oh, hey, hey. Gentlemen, we have to go, but we will come back. And for you, Anita, you have heard what I said. So you better have up. Pack your things to my mother's place. Else! Uncle, what you are doing? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What you are doing is unfair. Uncle, God is watching you. God is watching you. Uncle, what you are doing God is unfair. We now go. my sewing machine was stolen. Right now, I and Daniel are living from hand to mouth. I've lost all my customers and the ones who me refuse to pay. So tell me, what do you want us to do? I wish I could do something. But I wouldn't want to tangle with Enendo. He has the money and power and he's at liberty to do whatever he likes without anybody questioning him. Your late father tried, but he paid dearly for it. Uncle, 
Is it such a dreadful human being? It's more than dreadful. In fact, no one ever dares in matters like this in this community. So, are you trying to tell me now that there's no hope for us any longer, Uncle? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Sister, no. <laughs> if only I had my sight. If only I had my sight. If only I had my sight, this would have been this way. Oh, life. Oh, life, how cruel can you be? I know what it for sure. There is one thing I know for sure. There is hope. There is hope somewhere in this world. There is hope. There is hope. There's nothing anyone can do in this matter. Not even the way. Hey, no. Every problem that the first human solution has it last resort in God. Yes. Sister, let's go home. Take me home. Let's go and pray to God. Let's go and pray to Almighty God. Okay. He is now our only hope, sister. Daniel. for your entry. Uh, okay, let me change. Um, let me ask you a question. What is it? Why is it this portrait that you're particular about showing your father? I mean, we can, uh, why not something else? I mean, I have I some know, paintings here. I, I know what you mean. This will serve for all the purpose. And besides, there's a secret behind it. Secret? What secret? <laughs> Let's not argue over that thing, eh? We don't have much time to waste, please. Okay. Just give me some time, let me dress up, okay? okay. But, uh, are you sure your father is going to like it? Why not? You're supposed to like it. You don't have any choice. Okay. Just give me some minutes, okay? Okay. Young man, you've won yourself a place in my heart. Congratulations. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Pretty soon, I will rent an apartment for you uh, so that you get out of the hotel to a place more conducive for you to do your jobs, okay? Thank you very much, sir. I'm so grateful, sir. Don't mention So that's what you take. Oh, Daddy, that is a wonderful idea. <laughs> ah. Uh, Uli, do you still have some money left with you? Uh, yes, sir. He, he just that... Uh, I had to send some money home to my people from the one you gave me. Your ah, time. that's all right. I think I will uh, send 50,000 naira to Amanda to you. Uh, that will sustain you for uh, the one week. Uh, you see, I want you to be in the right frame of mind as you get set for the exhibition. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Okay, I, I promise um, I will not disappoint you, sir. I, I know you won't. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dave. That's too good. Cheers. Please, I'm begging you, please. I'm begging you in the name of God. Mercy on us, please. Please. Anita, why are you doing this to me? I said, Willie didn't send money to you. It's not fair. It's not fair what you are doing to me. Oh. No. You are disturbing me too much. Oh. Mama, please, I'm begging you. I have his letter. I have it here. In his letter, he said that. That what? That I'm lying? No. No. Huh? No. Please, please. Anita, go and look for your money somewhere else. Your money is not in this house. William may be lying. Mama, he can't be lying. He can't be lying. Okay, so I'm the one lying? No, no, I'm sorry, Mama. But just have mercy on us. My, my uncle is threatening to drive her and my brother out from the house. And we hardly feed since they stole my machine. Mama, please have mercy. Even if it's not the whole of the 7,000, we can manage the house. Anita, stand up. Mama, please. Get out of my house. Mama, please, I said get out of my house! Mama, Willie, really don't do this to us, please. I'm begging you. Get out of my house! Did you hear her? So you're in the house. What if I am? So? Even you? Ah. What have I done wrong, Ada? No matter what it is, can't you forgive me? Anita, do you want me to molest you here? Please get out! Get out of my house! that girl after I discovered uh, something about her in, at her house. Do you know I feel sick? What have you discovered? I don't <clears throat> feel like vomiting sometimes. <clears throat> what have you discovered? Hmm. Mama, I didn't want to say it before, but um, I don't think I have to keep it as a secret any longer. She has epilepsy. <laughs> To yourself. Would I have what about your brother? Does he know? Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. So my son has been having romance with an epileptic patient. <laughs> ah! God forbid! Mama, you know I have phobia for such diseases. Eh? That's why I've been avoiding that girl since then. I even heard that thing is even contagious. Hmm? I don't even know if that thing smells safe. Are you perceiving anything? I'm going to my room. Mm. On top of my table. Mm -hmm. Take money. Go and buy two jelly cans of this bed mm -hmm. Come and fool again. The whole house, everywhere. We two be enough. Yes! Hey, you wait! She came here and she was even kneeling down. Hey! We two be enough.
that the uncle and Endo have forced them out of their father's house. For what? Why? But he's planning to build a very big house inside the compound. Hey! God! So where does he expect them to go now? Huh? For my phone. So you're not asking me. Do I know? Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey! 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 What a cost family. Eh? No mother. No father. Poverty stricken. Eh? My brother and hopeless. Hey! God, I feel. Fear so much. Oh! This is a special announcement. For the first time in the history of arts in this country, a young Nigerian has become the first and the youngest African to win in the International Arts Exhibition Award in the just concluded United States Organized Art Exhibition held in Lagos. According to our sources, the winner of the first prize, whose name was given as Mr. Willie Okoye, a graduate of arts from the University of Budakot. My goodness. I know this boy will win. Amanda! Amanda! Share this good news with me. Yes, Where are you? Oh, Daddy, what is it? Oh, God. Oh, have you had a shout of excitement? You know what? What? The boy has won for us and for himself millions of naira. Oh, Daddy, I'm very happy. Please, run to the hotel now and fetch him. Okay. Go and fetch him. This calls for celebration. All right. I am almost on my way to see him at the hotel. Please. I'll be right back, Daddy. Okay. <laughs> about time I incorporate this boy into the fold of my enterprise. Yes, I will do it. He's an asses. Cheers. To oneness, together, as one glorious family in business. And to a life of a oneness in love. <laughs> My dear Willie, this is the beginning of life for you. A new life for you. You are now on my payroll. <laughs> and so, this is the key to one of my cars. You can use it. Thank you, sir. Wally, this is the key to your new apartment. I could. Sir, this is too much. Oh, God, I don't know how to pay you back. What can I say? Sir, God will bless you. And you too. You see, I like appreciating good works and excellent ideas. And you should know that with me, you are mad. You see, all thanks then should go to my pretty daughter, Amanda, for discovering me. Amanda, thank you very much. You're welcome.
from city and, and told us to vacate the house that he wants to build a befitting structure. Yes. So we yes. had to beg for survival. Jesus yes. Christ. But what about the 7,000 I sent to my mom and asked her to give you? What happened to it? She didn't give it to me. What? I know it that God is not asleep. <laughs> I know it that my God is not asleep. At least now that I can hear brothers Willie's voice. I am alive again. I am once more alive. That's all right. Just get into the car. Where are we going? Don't bother yourself, Danny. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Brother Willie. Okay. Thank you so much. Don't touch someone. Yes. I thank God for you. Thank oh thank God, you. I thank you so it's much. Okay. Everything is all right. My mom didn't give you that money. But mom, how could you do such a thing? Eh? How? How could you? What have I done? She's not part of this family. And I see no reason why you should be shouldering her responsibilities. It is my money and not yours. I specifically told you in that letter to give Anita 7,000 naira out of the 15,000 naira I sent to you, mom. Why did you not give it to her? But brother, why will Anita deserve that kind of money? Why? Eh? Even if she's your wife, which she is not. Will you shut up there? Shut your mouth! How dare you? I thought Anita is your friend. That was before, not now. Jesus Christ. What is going on here? Mommy, what is going on here for Christ's sake? Don't you even have heart? Mommy, are you this callous? You can say whatever you like. You can rock you, you can say anything you like. We are your family. You take care of us. Tell him. Her education should be the uppermost in your heart. Oh, okay. Now that you've made money. Mom, for your information, I am leaving immediately. I'm leaving for the city immediately and I am taking Anita and her younger brother Daniel along with me. Hey! <laughs> brother, don't try it though. Hey. Brother, don't try it. Huh. Anita is epileptic in case if you don't know. And if you take her to the city, she is going to spread it everywhere around that place. And you know Amanda's father will not like it. You know he won't be happy with you. You know. <laughs> what rubbish are you talking about? Mm. 
you will never listen. I've warned you so many times, but you never listen to me. That girl is a bad news. We don't want that in this family. And they even said that it happens to her once in every six months. I even witnessed it myself one day. That was what I called the friendship. How will I be doing with an epileptic patient? <laughs> Nonsense. Willie, really? brother, where you go, brother? Huh. He's going nowhere. He's coming back. To Why not? Let, let, let him come and take a Anita now. Let me see. Nonsense. That's it. That. Huh. Yeah. Come on in. Daniel, <laughs> yeah, make yourselves comfortable. This is the small place that I have. Oh, this is a nice place. Hey, really? <laughs> God, I thank you so much. But I really thank God for you. Hey, God has really answered. Hey, at least I can now feel the beauty of life. <laughs> It's okay. I know you are tired. Let me take you inside to your own room. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I thank you. <laughs> Jesus, I thank you. God, I thank you. Yeah, that's your room. I would have um, introduced you and Daniel formally to him, but anyway, maybe tomorrow I will take you to his house and introduce you formally to him. You know, he provided this place for me. Oh, that's so wonderful of him. He must be a nice man. Hmm? Yes, he is. He is. That's lovely. There is something I've been wanting to ask you since. Uh, Coming, but I just decided to keep it to myself until we get here and uh, to ask you in a more convenient place. What is it? Anita, you know I love you so much. And you have not lied to me before. Promise you're going to tell me the truth. Of course, I promise. Anita. Anita, are you epileptic? That's what my sister said. She said that's the reason why she has been avoiding you all this while. Is it true? Yes. She's right. I was struck with the sickness when I was barely two years old. I didn't know how it came. But I was meant to believe that one of my father's brothers did it. So as to strike my father over a piece of land that belongs to my father. And since then, it has been like that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hide it. I didn't want to tell you all this, why? Because I'm afraid I might lose you. Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You're not going to lose me. Okay? With the knowledge of your illness, I still love you the more. Nothing can ever take my love away from you. Except death. Nothing. I love you so much. 
in every achievement in life. There's always a price to pay. And our love together is the greatest achievement for me. Your sickness, the price I have to pay. Oh, really? I love you today. I'll continue to love you tomorrow. told me that you're back. And meanwhile, who are these two with you? Oh, um, this is uh, Anita, my fiance, and that Daniel, the younger brother. What? Did I hear you say fiance? Yes, any problem? Of course there's a problem. You never told me you have a fiance. I've come to think of it. Do you think my daddy gave you this apartment to bring in dust to you? I beg you. I resent that statement. You dare not call my fiance a destitute in my presence. I resent it, please. So take it back. Really? Do you think I did all I did just for you to come to the city? Get connected to my old man for nothing? Do you think I did that all for fun? <laughs> what are you talking about? You damn will know what I am talking about. Look, really, I am a human being for God's sake. And I have feelings. Well, if you don't understand, I am in love with you. And I fell for you the very first day I met you in the village. And that is why I get you connected. Oh, I'm sorry. I never knew you were in love with me. Oh, sorry. Someone else loves me the way I love her. Please, I'm hooked. Sorry. Rubbish. What an insult to me. Will I thought that you were wise? know something. How can you compare her and me? Now I know you're nothing but an empty piece of human flesh. Um, Amanda, please, you should mind how you talk to me. Now let me tell you, if you don't send this rats, if you don't send these two things out of this very apartment, I am going to send you back from the dustbin where I picked you up. I beg your pardon! How dare you! How dare you insult me in place of my visitors! Are you out of your mind? Listen, I never begged you in the first place to pick me from the dustbin like you said in the first place. I was having a normal and peaceful life in the village before you came with your ploy to have me. Unfortunately, you can't. Let me tell you. I was just waiting for the day you're going to make a fool of yourself. And you have just done that. Now, get out of my house. Get you out. You slapped me. And I will do it again. You slapped Amanda. I will show you. And I will make you pay girl for this. Too bad, get out. No, I don't think I get it. How can she come in here and call us rats? It's okay. Sudhat, come on. Is that what's pissing you off? Listen, I still love you. Nobody is going to take me away from you. Listen, I will handle it. I will take care of it, okay? I don't think I'm hungry anymore. I didn't beat her up, sir. I only slapped her when she insulted me. Sorry. How dare you lay your filthy fingers on her? Look here, my friend. I don't take kindly 
to anyone who feels he's strong enough to touch my daughter. I'm sorry, sir. That is not enough. You must apologize to her. And as for those visitors of yours, I want them out of that apartment first thing tomorrow morning. That is an order. With due respect, sir, I will not do it. What? Has anything come over you? Don't you realize where you come from? Or is it the 2.5 million naira you got from your award that is tripping you? Or make you reject my orders? So it has got nothing to do with money at all. It's all about pride. Your daughter wants my heart. Unfortunately, someone had already taken it. When I met your daughter, the girl that had taken my heart is presently pregnant for me right now. So let your daughter not use pride or class to cheap in me because I will not succumb to such cheap blackmail because I have pride, honor, dignity to protect her. Willie, my son, I want my daughter's happiness. Since I lost her mother, she is all I've got. So please, try and consider her feelings for you. Okay? I'm afraid I cannot do it. What if I give you conditions? Sir, nothing, nothing on earth would make me change my mind, except death. I see. If I have the choice, I would have taken decisions. But I cannot afford to lose you, Willie. If care is not taken, at last, you may choose between your pride and my daughter's happiness. Then so be it. What are you doing, Willie? I am making a choice right now. This is the key to your car. Your apartment, I am leaving there right away. I'll speak to you later. Willie! Willie! No, not exactly. Then why are we leaving? Chief Ogo wants me to compromise my love for you just to satisfy his daughter. And that I am not ready to do. But what about your job? He gave me a condition and I have taken an option. Okay? He can go to hell with his job. I don't care. Just go inside. Get your things. We are leaving this house immediately. You said we're not going back to the village. Then where are we actually going? Yes, I have a friend in town. His name is Marco. His place is big enough to accommodate us until I get a place for myself. Do you understand that? Just go inside. Let's go, please. Let me go and change, please. Marco, um, this is how it has been with me. Well, I'm counting on you for my refuge. Our refuge. Until I get a place of my own. It's been a sad experience, really. It's been a sad experience. Well, all the same, you can, you can stay here. Huh? There's no problem. Yeah, you can what? stay here. You mean it? Sure. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. You are an angel. What else can I do for a friend? Yeah, well, thank you. What is it? Jesus Christ. What is it? What is it? What, what, what's wrong with her? Hey, I think... I think she has an attack of her Oh God, what do we do now? In my house? Get a spoon, get a spoon. Get a spoon. Hey, Anita! 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 Anita!
For soccer, must you get him down? Must you get him down the more? God, come on, man. If Anita hadn't been pregnant, God, if Anita hadn't been pregnant, she would have survived the attack. She would have survived the attack. She would have survived the attack. Pregnancy, the cause of death? That was what the doctor discovered from the autopsy. She's dead, isn't it? So what else? My friend, get out of this place right now. I've come to fight you. For what? I don't have any business with you, your father, or any member of your family. I am through with all of you. Now, get out of this house before I lose my mind! Okay, okay, okay. Alright. I'll leave. But let me tell you. If I need to go to I, Amanda Ogochiku, did not get you. Nobody. I said, nobody will ever take you away from me. Very stupid. Go and tell that to your father. Get out! Bet me. Idiots. Brother, what is it? Who was making you shout like this? Brother, what is it? I wonder how she found out I was here. She's a girl about town. And who knows, she must have made inquiries about where you were. But tell me something. Really. Why was she so bent on having you? Forget about that girl. She caused Anita's death for all I care. I'm confused. So she can go to places. I don't care. So, um, how long are you staying in the village? Well, um, I won't be long. I just want to go collect a 
couple of my materials that I forgot, my working materials that I forgot in the village. I'll be back, I'll be back in a couple of days' time. Okay, okay, okay. Then uh, perhaps I can drop you. Ah, oh, no, <laughs> don't bother yourself. Uh, you've tried. Don't just don't bother yourself. Okay. All you need to do for me, please, take care of Daniel for me. You know, he's all that I have. Uh, please. No problem. That's the only thing for you can do for me. You can trust me. Danny, um, I want him to rush to the village, okay? Mm -hmm. um, don't worry, everything will take care of. Don't go out. Yeah, I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let him walk out. Thank you. Trust me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shot him? Yes, of course, they do. Oh! I was in my house. Really? When a certain girl came to threaten him. And it was on the same day that the girl came to threaten him that Willie was killed. No! The police came. And I went with them and we made safety. <laughs> The girl was picked up a day later, in spite of her father's influence. And after much torture in the police uh, net, she confessed. No, wow! She confessed. She needs to be held, not tortured. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Look at what I have lost. I thought Amanda was the best person for my brother. But look at this, she has turned out to be a wonder. Hey, God, oh, Amanda. Oh. Amanda is a never be well with me. Oh. Amanda is a never be well with me. Oh, look at what you have done. Oh, Nancy! Who is going to come at me? Oh, Nancy! Oh, Nancy! Oh, Nancy! Willie was my very close friend. He asked me to take good care of you before he died. And I'm not going back on that instruction. Daniel, you are now a part of my home, and I will take you like my younger brother, and I will do all, all within my power to make you happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I am but a blind, helpless boy. What can I do or say to show gratitude? To say thank you for your kindness to me? All I can say is that the good Lord, the Almighty God, the rewarder of men, must surely bless you. He must not forget you. Amen. Amen. Um, Daniel, it's okay. 
It's okay. I intend to employ a capable hand to take care of you in case you need anything while I'm away on business. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. God will bless you. I bless you too.